So in this problem, Joe, it says a sub 1 equals 28, a sub k plus 1 equals a sub k minus 4. And what they're asking us to do is to find the first four terms. We're just going to do the first four terms. So we know a sub 1. We want to now determine what a sub 2 is, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So if we know a sub 1, right, 1 can represent our k. Remember, recursive form, we're going to be plugging in our previous term into there. So let's plug in a sub 1. Let's plug in 1 in for here. So this would be a sub 1 plus 1 equals a sub 1 minus 4. You guys see what I did? I plugged the 1 in for the k because we know a sub 1. Now, do we know what a sub 1 is? It's 28, right? So therefore, a sub 1 plus 1 is a sub 2. So what that means is a sub 2 equals a sub 1, which is 28, minus 4, which equals 24. So now we know a sub 2 equals 24. Now, now let's put a 2 in for the k. So a sub 2 plus 1 equals a sub 2 minus 4. Well, do we know what a sub 2 is now? 24. And a sub 2 plus 1 is a sub 3. So therefore, now we know that a sub 3 equals 24 minus 4, which equals 20. So you guys kind of see the pattern? So without even having to do the whole record, a sub 16 or a sub 4 is going to be 16. So there you go. That's recursive formula.